It's time for the dish. Are you hungry? It's a story that might make you want to oh, go home for a bite. Italian food, famous around the world. And if you ask any Italian who's the best cook, well, they're going to tell you their mother. Yes. Ian Lee takes us to London, where one Italian family has made a successful business at a mama's home cooking. I'm not going to ask you. I'm just going to give you the frittata to try, OK? Yes. There's a good chance you're not eating enough. At least, that's what the mamas at La Mia Mama will tell you. Prego. Oh, and they'll let you know. You have to eat. Manja. <laughs> You're gonna hear that last word a lot. Manja, manja, manja. Manja. I learned this word. This is a very word. Manja. Manja. Manja means eat in Italian. It's part of our culture. It's part of our tradition. It's a part of our life. Italians without food, it's... Uh, I'm not sure they are Italians, actually. <laughs> I'm used to great foods coming from Sicily. For Italian Pepe Corsaro, while living in London, nothing could match his mom's good old home cooking. And one of my friends, he's just joking, he said, Pepe, why don't you bring your mama over to cook? And that was my... Your Eureka moment. Correct, exactly. That Eureka moment turned into La Mia Mama, a restaurant run by Italian moms. But for that idea to work, Pepe first had to call back home. So you call your mom, and what does she say? <laughs> I'm not joking. She was like, OK, listen, I found this ticket. I can come there. We're going to do the menu, and we're going to develop it. And that's how we all began. <laughs> not only did Pepe's mom, known as Mama Anna, come over, but his sister, Mama Sara, also joined. We're doing the fresh cavatelli pasta. This is a Sicilian pasta. It's very easy. Very easy. So you take a little piece of dough like this. Right. You put it in the bar. You just press a little bit and roll down. Show me. All right. Press a little bit yeah. and roll. You see? <laughs> it's a great job. You've done like an amazing job. Come on. This cavatelli pasta is being served with a pork cheek and pistachio pesto. Pesto, you start uh, fresh pistachio, basil, not too much. You're going to put a few leaves just to give like a, a little bit of flavor. Salt, pepper, and sunflower oil. The dish may look simple, but it's simply delicious. Mm. That is so uh, good. Your face was talking already. Oh. But, oh, I didn't give you the pork. Chicken oh, side. You have oh, to try with the. Arm. I have yes. to try more. I'm sorry, but you have to try one more. Now it's completed. It's like the whole recipe. Mm. Cooking good food was easy, mm. but they needed to fatten up the operation. How did you find the mamas? We put like a, um, a post on social media. We are recruiting like mamas. We don't want professional chef. You want home cooking. That's what I want. Original home. Those home cooks first auditioned over the phone. We said, okay, come over, you do like um, a demonstration, you cook something for us, and then we start from there. Many mamas stay in an apartment together as they become paid professional chefs. Most of the mamas, uh, they were all housewives or they, they were doing a completely different job in Italy. So they're quite intimidated but give them two, three days, uh, and they loved it. At La Mia Mama, food is more than just something you eat. How do you want people to feel when they eat your food? First of all, we want them to feel happy, but then falling in love with that food. It's a romantic experience, almost. It's Italian, we are romantic, yes. It's OK, Mama? Yeah. Boss say it's OK. How is it working with your mother? Oh, my God, at the beginning, I was like, oh, my God. Now I cannot stay without her. Perfect. It's a dream came true, actually. It's amazing. It's a beautiful dream. It's a beautiful dream, yes. Can you imagine your life without La Mia Mamma now? No, absolutely not. No. <laughs> she said it in English now. No, absolutely no. <laughs> and it turned into a beautiful dream for Pepe, too, because he finally got that good home cooking of his Sicilian childhood. We're always going to be children for our, for our mama. You know, we're always going to be babies, you know. You can be 40, 50, you're always going to be mama's baby, you know. Ah. Pepe now has three restaurants serving that home cooking. Hello. Because let's face it, no one cooks quite like mom. For CBS Mornings, Ian Lee, London.
That was great. Wow. I love it. That was fantastic. I love the apartment. I want a reality TV show about the apartment where all the mamas are living. There's yes. non-professional yes. chefs cooking. now cooking for everyone. I think it's one of the most loving things you can do is to prepare a meal and to give it to someone that you care about. I think that's so sweet. It's one of those stories that you, we wish we could smell because just looking at it, you can yeah. smell the garlic. That's nice. on the list. I'm going there for sure. Nice. I like oh, it. That was great.